Hello everybody and welcome on board this Steadfast 24 for a little look around the interior in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean for you? Well that means that you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking, just click and drag your screen or swipe it around and you can look around anytime you like. And we hope that that will get you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Now I will move the camera around and some people are sensitive to that. If that may be you, I'll let you know when I'm going to move it so you can avert your eyes and then when the camera's safety back down I'll let you know so you can return to the tour with me let's hope that doesn't happen so here we are we're inside this uh, lovely steadfast 24 she's of an age uh, she's a beauty she's got a lovely cockpit outside nice and deep we've got cockpit cushions we've got all the bits and pieces out there you would expect nice sheltered feeling cockpit um, and when we get down here we've got a nice uh, reasonably easy companion way to get down we've got something to hold on to here we can hold on to up here and we come down we've got vertical steps here which form part of the engine box and to get to the engine we just unclip here we open the door we unclip around here and it all lifts forward giving us access to the Yanmar so quite tough to uh, check at sea because you're going to put the companion way out of action and you need this door open but reasonably easy so it's just something to bear in mind the first thing you reach as you come down here is uh, you can sit exactly where you are and uh, when it starts uh, pouring down with rain out the outside there and we're fed up and we don't want to be steering out there anymore we just come down here and use the wheel how cool is that so out there we've got the tiller steering which you can't see from where you are uh, which is uh, geared directly with this and uh, once we come down here we can steer S sitting here nice cup of tea we've got the big windows to look around we can sit the family down here out of the rain etc really enjoy ourselves and chill out but uh, anyway Anyway, what have we got down here? Well, you're sitting on the helm seat, and if I just sit next to you, uh, down here underneath we've got some storage, some storage. We've got a, a locker down here, which you probably can't see, with a battery in it, some more storage. And uh, just going around here, we've got quite a basic setup. We've got a radio, the VHF radio to the starboard side, the engine throttle down here, as well as up there. And uh, let me check, we've got one up there as well. I think we've got engine controls up there. Yes, we have. Don't want to give you any wrong information. We've got battery isolation, engine instrumentation, start and stop, electrical panel, a little bit of battery monitoring, the wheel and a couple of instruments up here. We've got speed and depth and the, uh, the build pump on off switch and the auto switch. So all good. And if you're sitting there, you can see through the front windows, through the side windows, through the companion way. You can't quite see through here unless we latch the door back, in which case we've got a great big window there in the heads. And uh, we've got almost a 360 view apart from the back bit, which is uh, really, really quite good. While I've got the door open to the head, you can see we've got, uh, it's well located to, towards the cockpit. So you're down and in instead of spraying all your wet fowlies up forwards and uh, once we're in we've got good head height a great big window you probably want curtains on it uh, we've got a manual head which is facing a thwart ship so you'll be facing to starboard and in here we've got access to the big cockpit locker out there as well so we can get in there and have a rummage without going out to the cockpit or disturbing people who are sitting there so all good being used as a bit of a store at the moment needs a good wipe through but uh, once that's done a really useful compartment really really good we have a locker uh, inset into this binnacle here we've got another battery here we've got a battery charger uh, room for more stuff but i would tend to keep that clear for the technical side of things i think but uh, other than that really nice area i could really see myself sitting here steering and just relaxing and having fun yeah really great on a boat of this size almost unheard of two steering positions amazing okay let's pick you up and uh, i'll maneuver you to pretty much the middle of the boat you're about midships uh, port and starboard forward aft there and uh, as you can see we've got a, a nice easy companion way to walk through we do duck down as we go forward because the coach roof comes or the uh, the the, the pilot house comes down to the coach roof and the coach roof goes down uh, but uh, really nice and easy to get around plenty of room head, head height down here I'm five foot nine if I stretch I'm just touching the coach roof so five foot nine five foot ten there something like that and uh, on the starboard side here we've got the galley we've got a sink we've got a manual uh, tap we've got a cupboard here with uh, shelves in there we go and uh, under here we've got a, a cooker gimbaled I should think yeah with gimbals so two uh, burners there and a grill underneath cupboard underneath as well does what it says on the tin so a, a kind of a linear galley on the starboard side and really handy as well because you can do your bits and pieces here pass it straight out pass it to the helm no worries at all now the port side of this area is given over to the saloon or sleeping accommodation so uh, you're sitting on the uh, the saloon table 
plenty large enough for a boat of this size. Nice big fiddles, drops down to make into a double, and with this cushion here you've got a nice big double bed, no worries at all. Storage under, storage under, storage under, all good. And we have a TV on the after bulkhead here as well for those nights when you just want to snuggle down and watch a bit of telly. As I mentioned, we've got big windows port and starboard, big windows forward as well, so we can see where we're going over here. Really love that actually. For a boat of this size, it really does feel great in that kind of respect. We have a twin two fourths. 240 vo volt sockets seemingly everywhere so for the children charging up their bits and pieces should be fine or if you're working on your laptop etc um, yeah really really good but let's pick you up again and move you forwards and I'm ducking down in this area and uh, taking you to the forward accommodation not quite a cabin because we don't have a door here but we have got a, a sort of a, a narrowing uh, bulkhead there um, I can sit in here with ease, no problem at all. We have a hatch here for light and ventilation and escape if we need to. And uh, I love the, we feel like we're in the bow of the boat here. We've got the, the bow flare here and uh, quite a, I wouldn't say this is a very long berth. So the average person is going to find their toes all the way down the end there, fighting for a bit of space with the other person with their toes down there. But uh, plenty for the weekend, shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. We have, uh, I, I'm pretty sure, to be confirmed, we may have an infill here too, but uh, yeah, we need to check that one out. We've got uh, storage underneath here, storage underneath here, and storage underneath there. So in, in essence, this boat should have stories for one or two people for a weekend or a bit longer, or a family of four for the weekend. No problem at all, really good. Okay, let's finish there then and move you back to pretty much where we started. In fact, what I'll do is I'll stand you on the uh, the helm console there. Hopefully you won't fall over. And we'll just sum up and finish off by saying this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers taking you for a quick tour of this Steadfast 24. We've seen the, 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 the twin steering capabilities of, the, of this boat, a nice large cockpit, galley down here, good standing headroom, plenty of accommodation here and good accommodation up front as well. Really good for a boat of this size. I like the design. Really delightful little motor cruiser. Thanks for watching. If you like watching yacht reviews in 3D or virtual reality like this, just go to our YouTube channel where you find lots more videos about lovely, great, big, whacking, expensive gin palaces all the way down to the cheapest little fishing boats. We love them all and we like to bring them to you. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you another day. Thank you.